Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad and welcome back to another tutorial on Guess the Output video series. Now, just like the previous tutorial, so you guys can pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and try to guess the output of the program. Once you guys have an answer, just uh, play this movie again. I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. Alright, now I guess you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. So, build build and run and the answer or you know the output of this program is x equal to 30 and y equal to 20. So now why we gonna get the output like this. So if you look at the source code in this program then uh, we have the variables x and y and we have initialized this x with a value of 10 and this y with a value of 100. And then we have the statement x plus equal to 20 and then we have y equal to plus 20 and then we are printing the value of this x and y variable using the printf function. So now the reason we are gonna get x equal to 30 and y equal to 20 is here if you look at this statement x plus equal to 20 you know this statement is exactly equal to x equal to x plus 20 and that's why you know our x variable was previously containing the value of 10 and here it's gonna become like x equal to 10 plus 20 so the x variables value is gonna become 30 and uh, you know that's why in this printf function we're gonna get x equal to 30 all right now if you're gonna look at this y equal to plus 20 so this statement is exactly equal to y equal to plus 20 so here this plus is gonna be the unary operator you know it is used to indicate the positive value so this will indicate the positive value and that's why this positive 20 will be assigned in this or uh, stored in this y variable. So if you look at the source code here, y was previously containing 100 and because of this statement, you know, x equal to plus 20, this positive 20 will be stored in this y variable and this value 100 which was stored previously in this y variable will be lost. So we're gonna get x equal to 30 and y equal to 20. So similarly, if we had this uh, x equal to minus 20, then the uh, y variable will contain minus or negative 20. So I just wanna modify this equal to minus here, y equal to minus 20 here, and then I'm gonna build and run this. And now you guys can see y equal to minus 20 we get. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have learned something from this tutorial. And if you guys think that this tutorial was good, then give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. So whenever I upload new videos, you're going to be get notified. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.